Hi YouTube, I just wanted to come and do a very quick, 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 quick video for you as I'm trying to get ready to get out of here. I just wanted to let you guys see that I'm going to be making some buttermilk chicken in my air fryer. So stay tuned and once I get it in the frying basket, I'll come back to you. Oh, just here I have uh, marinated some um, chicken thighs in buttermilk overnight. And I'm just letting some of the buttermilk um, just drip off of the chicken before I go ahead and put it in the flour. So give me a moment. Hello? Okay, so here's the pan where the buttermilk has dripped off into. And here is the chicken that I just, what I did was I had some flour, seasoned flour in a bag. You season your chicken the way that you want it and how you like it. That's how I do mine. And I just did it in a bag, you know, little grocery bags. Tried to do it in a bowl, but it was too messy for me. So I decided to do it just my way and it was a lot easier. So I just put the chicken on like a little um, baking pan so that it can just rest for a little bit. And now I'm about to add it into the fryer. Okay, so all I did was spray the bottom of the basket with some vegetable cooking oil. And this is the vegetable cooking oil. And now all I'm going to do is go ahead and spray the chicken. Just coating it really good so that it crisps up really well. You probably don't have to spray it this much, but I am. So I'm going to go ahead and place the basket into the fryer. And it's already on 370 degrees. I'm going to first fry on the first side with the skin side up for 20 minutes. Okay, and then I'm going to come back after 20 minutes and flip it over, spray the other side, and cook it for another additional maybe 10 or 15 minutes. So see you soon. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes. So let's go ahead and take the basket out and see what we get. So far, so good. They look good. They smell delicious. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn them over, spray the other side with some more vegetable oil, and put them back in for about 10 or 15 minutes. So stay tuned. Real quick, this is what the underside, the bottom side, without the skin looks like. Um, by spraying the bottom of the basket with some vegetable oil, prevents it from sticking and all the coating coming off or sticking to the bottom of the basket. So I'm going to pop them back in, and I'll see you in about 15 all right, so this is after about, I'll say about 12 minutes, and it's done. So let's go ahead and take it out. This is the underside again. It's crispy. I don't know if you can hear it. Top part. Trying to do this with my hand is not easy. can see there's nothing in the basket let's see if I can get this off it's kind of hard push the level the level lever sorry up this little button here push it down and the basket pops out and that's where you have all your juices and stuff down here not very much okay. and this just pops right back in That's the chicken, so let me go ahead and cut in the inside and let's see what it looks like. Okay, here it is. I don't know if you can see the steam. It's hot and it's done. Nothing pink in there. Crispy crust. So there it is. You might get maybe a little bit of mushy spots just from the, the bottom portion where maybe some of the fat is and where some of the flour flower has um set on it but otherwise looks good to me all right guys hope you enjoyed this video see you in the next one bye